Okay, I got a phone call, but I I, I don't recognize this number. Uh, hello, this is Jimmy. Hello. <laughs> hello, who is this? This is Al Pacino. <laughs> Al Pacino, the Al Pacino. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, Al. Thanks for asking. I, I can't believe you called the Jimmy Dore show. I know. <laughs> I mean, what possible reason could you have for calling in? You're a very knowledgeable man about politics. I want to be knowledgeable about politics. You and I team up, work together, figure things out. A symbiotic relationship. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I understand. Look, you got George Clooney calling into your show. You got Vince Vaughn calling in. <laughs> Al Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah. I want to be one of these guys. <laughs> How do I get to be one of these guys? <laughs> you you want to call into the show occasionally and discuss current events? Yeah. Well, of course. And with a word and a will, it has transpired. <laughs> I am on the phone with Jimmy Dory. <laughs> Can you feel it? It is hot outside. <laughs> uh, all right, well, uh, what do you want to talk about? I have to admit, I'm a little behind. I hadn't noticed that Richard Nixon wasn't president anymore <laughs> until I was done filming the HBO Joe Paterno movie. <laughs> How is that possible? What? I've been researching roles for 45 years. Intensely. I've been preoccupied with art. And politics is the enemy of art. Okay. But things are dire. I need to start paying attention and formulating opinions and stating said opinions in a public forum. The progressive movement could sure use an El Pacino. Hold on. I haven't made up my mind yet. <laughs> progressive. Maybe regressive. <laughs> Maybe progresso. <laughs> Maybe left. <laughs> Maybe left. Maybe right. <laughs> Maybe in the middle. Maybe on top, above. <laughs> Why is it got to be a line? <laughs> if I am informed, I refuse to be confined. All right, then. But I'm learning, right? Jimmy, listen. For the first time in my life, I own a computer. <laughs> I'm learning to use it. It was a gift from my daughter. So, in order to learn about politics, I turned on my laptop computer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I accessed the mainframe. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works, Al. And this computer told me that Russia decided our election in the United States. That that that's not uh fucking Russia. <laughs> <laughs> no, Al. A lot of people say this, but that's not actually And that's why this clown, this buffoon is president instead of that Hillary kid, who I thought was a wonderkind. Came out of nowhere, this kid. What? Out of the blue. Uh, Al, Hillary Clinton has been part of the American political landscape for well over a quarter century. And uh -huh. It's true. Oh. Hold on. Wait a minute. Is she that young lady who performed fellatio on Bill Clinton? Uh, nah, no, she, she was, uh... Because I thought maybe, maybe they hit it off because they have the same last name. <laughs> Like, you're a Clinton, I'm a Clinton. <laughs> and then chatty, 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 and flirty, flirty, flirty. Jesus. And then next thing you know, <laughs> I've seen this happen before. <laughs> <laughs> no, Al, no, man. You really are behind on everything, aren't you? Yeah, it's like I just came out of a thought bunker. <laughs> Okay, well, to fill you in, Al, no, Russia did not steal our election. That's just a distraction to make us forget what a horrible candidate Hillary Clinton was. Oh, so she's bad. Yeah, in my opinion, and the opinion of many others, yes. So then, maybe <laughs> there is something to this rumor that she has a pizza restaurant, and she's 
turning little kids into pizza toppings <laughs> and then serving that pizza to all the children or something. Uh, that, no, that's called Pizzagate. That, it's, it, that's bogus. But you said she's bad. Yeah, but, but, that, <laughs> but Pizzagate is bogus. I'm so confused. <laughs> Did my computer lie to me? Probably. I'm going to kill this fucking thing. <laughs> Look, Al, you just, just check in with us occasionally and we'll set you straight, okay? All right, Betty. I appreciate it. <laughs> Truly. From the heart. But I'm still going to bash this fucking machine apart. <laughs> Raphael, bring me my vengeance cloak. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed. Even if you think you are, you're probably not. It only takes a second to check. And then you have to ring that bell so they send you a notification when we drop a new video. Otherwise, they won't tell you when we drop new videos. And if you like our show, please help support it. Become a patron. We give you hours of bonus material every week. And we give a live stream. We do a live stream every Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific time when you could ask us questions and we answer them back. Thanks for your support. Bye.